हेलो एवरी वन हियर यू आर लिसनिंग विपिन कुमार टू दिस टॉपिक इज राइस बॉटनी एंड डिफरेंट स्पीसीज राइस इज द प्लांट दैट इज बिलोंग टू द ग्रामी फैमिली एंड समटाइम इट्स कॉल्ड अदर ग्रासी फैमिली इट्स कम्पोज ऑफ टू पार्ट्स वन इज रूट सिस्टम अदर इज द रूट सिस्टम इन रूट सिस्टम दैट इज द फर्स्ट इज द प्राइमरी रूट एंड दैन सेकेंडरी रूट्स एंड रूट सिस्टम इज कम्पोज ऑफ डिफरेंट लाइक कॉम लीफ पेनिकल एंड स्पाइकलेट्स सो विल स्टार्ट वेन द वी ग्रो द राइस सीड्स इन द मॉइस सॉयल so first of all there will be emergence of the coleoriza root system then followed by the, uh, the our radical system and then coleoptile will also uh, emerge but the case is difference when we sown the seed in the submergent case in that uh, case the coleoptile will emerge first then coleoriza and then is followed by the radical so after that there will be the formation of the primary leaf secondary leaf and then tertiary leaf so if uh, the w- one of the elongated zone uh, in between the first nodes and the root is mesocotyle and uh, after some time there will be also emergence of the secondary root system this is called nodal root system and permanent root system and that will be replaced the our primary roots and uh, endosperm so our rice seedling will be depend totally on this adventitious root system nodal root system f- during whole life cycle so the from the nodes those are very adjacent to the soil surface from there there will be the formation uh, formation of the tillers and uh, tiller will be emerge so in the in the tillers also primary secondary and tertiary leaves will be emerge and rice having the capacity to produce near about 40 to 50 tillers uh, uh, per hill so apart from this there will be the one other portion is that is the rice column and rice column is composed of the inter nodes and uh, nodes and uh, this is actually hollow uh, part hollow uh, but uh, except to the uh, node portion where there will be the solid portion and each node will uh, have one bear one leaves and leaves and that will cover the uh, this suit by the uh, seeds so above that above that there will be the formation of uh, our panicle portion and uh, this is actually rice inflorescence rice inflorescence is known as uh, panicle and that will have one very adjacent flag leaf and the role of this flag leaf is very high because most of the fours and thirds are translocated to the sink portion for the grain formation and uh, this is a very percentically uh, very active leaf we can say and grain size and boldness is depend maximum on this uh, leaf so our panicle will be uh, attached uh, up above uh, at upper most internode and the point where the our uh, panicle will be attached is called panicle base and this panicle will have primary branches panicle axis and from this uh, there will be the secondary branches will be also there and on the secondary branches there will there will be one <coughs> pedicels and on the pedicels spikelet will be attached so if we take the single spikelet of the rice then spikelet itself is having different component like lemma and pelia and lemma have one special uh, structure that is on and this on may be short medium or large depend on the different species so beside that that there will be also other uh, <coughs> uh, structures like pedicels rudimentary glooms style lemmas and rachulas so these all are the uh, outer component of the rice spikelets so when the rice uh, reach up to the flowering so there will be the bulging and uh, this spikelet will be open and then six stamens functional stamens and one pistil will be emerge from this uh, floret and anther plus filament this is called your stamen this is a male part actually and there will be the you no know, two stigma feathery stigma and one ovary and both are called a pistil means female part so when the anther uh, will set their pollen on this feathery stigma so this is the pollination happen actually rice is the self pollinated plant and after that there will be the close of this lemma and pelia and then fertilization gone and then grain formation started and then it will grow and be- become the grain and rice grain is known as caryopsis so these were the some botany of the rice so i will again going to uh, explain you the what are different species rice is having a genus oryza and this oryza having 24 uh, different species 
among that 22 are belong to the wild and two is the only cultivated and that is your oryza sativa and oryza glaverima oryza sativa itself is having three different subspecies that is indica japonica and javanica if you want to see the geographical uh, distribution of this oryza glaverima so oryza glaverima is mainly confined to the western africa and rest of the america and europe and asia is covered by this oryza sativa so i am going to uh, give the basic characteristics of the oryza gla glaverima so oryza glaverima is commonly known as the african rice and this is covering 20 percent of the rice grown area in the africa okay so some it's having some characteristics like uh, uh, it is very hardy and because of hardy is can resist paste and it require very low level because of its uh, economy is not very complex that's why it can able to suit a adverse condition of the african and uh, this is having a very uh, distinct uh, nutty flavor in the grain so these were the some characteristics of the oryza glaverima so i am going to next species that is our oryza sativa oryza sativa having th uh, three different subspecies that is indica japonica and javanica indica mainly grown in india and japonica in japan and javanica in indonesia so i'll start from the indica indica is the mainly grown in india and this is actually basically is the tropical rice and the basic characteristics of this variety, uh, this rice, uh, this species is actually the leaf is slightly absent and it is late maturity, um, late maturing uh, uh, rice species. And its uh, leaf is uh, pale green, means uh, lighter in color. And sometimes it's having on less, or sometimes it's post very small on on the lemma. And fruit is elongated, thin, narrow, and slightly flattened so these were the some characteristics of the indica rice if you want to see this in the pictorial form so this is the picture of the indica the, the side base of that is the panicle of the indica this is the indica panicle again i will move for the japonica this is developed in japan and uh, the region where it can grow is the subtropical and warm temperate region the basic characteristics of this uh, variety, uh, this species is the grain of this is the oval and rounded grain, and they may be on or on less. Leaves are narrow, but it will be having a very dark green. That's why it is photosynthetically very active species. And the one of the basic uh, best quality is that is early maturity, early maturing and short stem. That's why it can able to respond nitrogen very high, and there will be no loss so its yield potential is high because of these basic characteristics if uh, we want to see the uh, next Japani Javanica so this is actually a wild form of the rice and mainly grown in Indonesia and basic characteristics of this is steep straw long panicle with on and spare tilling habit long duration but the this is last one of the unique characteristics of this this uh, species is this. this is a low sensitive to difference in day length means its flowering pattern is not much governed by the day length and the panicle of this Germanica we can see here this is the panicle of the Germanica and this is the panicle of Japonica so these all are three are very contrastly differing so I think you enjoyed the, this my video what are the dif uh, botany of the rice and how, what are different kind of the species of the rice and if you enjoy it then you can uh, share it for the benefit of your friend and for the more information you can uh, like my facebook page and you can also follow me on my uh, twitter agrovipin and you can subscribe here for the more video in the future and i request you if you have any query and uh, any regards please comment here for the further improvement of my video and that will benefit definitely to others also Thank you for watching my video.